our favorites of 2018. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My goal through my channel is to help you all feel like the very best version of yourself every single day. Today I want to share some of my favorites and your favorites from 2018. So when I was originally planning out this video, I was doing it the way I would normally do that, and that is going through the analytics. I have a dashboard that I have access to through Reward Style, so I can see exactly which products sold the most, which products were clicked on the most, and that is usually how I I create this list. Well, I made that list and what I discovered is that most of the products are sold out and most of the products were from the Nordstrom sale. So I don't know, I just felt like that was more of a volume thing. I mean, we all kind of save up and shop a little bit at least during that Nordstrom sale. So instead, this year, the direction I wanna take this in is to recap 2018, sharing what I think my favorite heaviest hitters were for the year and also peppering in a couple that you all clicked on the most and bought the most of. So I think it'll be a really great comprehensive list. This is the first one I'm doing this year. So if there are others you'd like to see, other topics, other specific categories like jeans or jackets and coats or sweaters or beauty, let me know. I'm not 100% sure if I want to continue, so I may just do this top roundup. But if you guys want me to share more uh, favorites with you from 2018, I would be so happy to do that. So just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Shall we get started with the top 10 list? I'm gonna start with number 10, work my way back up. So number 10 is the halogen fuzzy sweaters from Nordstrom. These were not available during the sale. Actually, it was a product I featured much more recently, but they've already sold out and restocked a couple times. So I bought two of the fuzzy turtlenecks. So I have one in white and one in green. And then I bought two of the fuzzy V-necks. So I had the V-neck fuzzy in white and the V-neck fuzzy in royal blue. There are a bunch of colors. They're so soft. They wear well, and I just love them. I could live in them. And when we talk about like clothes that could double or go easily from loungewear to errands and running errands, these fuzzy sweaters are it. You'll wanna stay in them, you wanna be in your house in them, you wanna sleep in them, you wanna run errands in them. You don't ever wanna take them off. Plus, I love the texture of the fuzzy sweater as well. So if you missed the boat on those, they did restock the V-neck ones. I think the turtlenecks are still available too but those are really good and that is definitely on my top favorite list for 2018. Number nine is my Prada two-in-one belt bag. When I bought that, I thought that was kind of a wild card purchase. I was intrigued by it, I was excited by it, but I wasn't sure about the functionality of it and whether or not I would actually wear it and use it. This has been the surprise hit of 2018 for me. It's a two-in-one bag, meaning you can wear it either as a belt bag or there is a chain link strap on the inside so you can also carry it like a shoulder bag. Pretty much on every trip that I've taken, I've brought this bag with me. And then more recently, I've really enjoyed wearing the belt bag on me while I travel on those travel days to keep just phone, credit card, lip gloss, and a little cash in, just the essentials. And I love just being able to reach in the front and grab it because even if I have my backpack on, which you, you all know I love a backpack, in order to get your phone or your cash or your ID, you have to take the backpack off you gotta reach in the bag, you gotta unzip it, reach in the bag. With the belt bag, it's all right in front of you, it's right there, it's quick. It's, a, it's actually a safer way to keep your money and your essentials when you're traveling. Plus, it's really chic and lovely. This is not like the fanny pack from the 90s, this is something that looks really elegant and chic. That bag has definitely been a hit for me. I've, I wore it to blogger conference, I wore it on our trip to Ecuador and Peru, I wore it hiking up in Machu Picchu. It's been such a heavy hitter for me this year. Number eight isn't a specific product, it's more of a line. And you guys have heard me talking about this line before. It's Norma Kamali. Norma Kamali available at a lot of different retailers and 
she covers everything from swimwear to pants to dresses to loungewear. The beauty of her pieces lies in the fabric. The fabric is this jersey that is very flattering, it feels nice against your skin, and then it also doesn't wrinkle. So when we're talking about traveling, we're talking about looking chic throughout the day, no matter what you're doing, you know, it doesn't wrinkle. And that's a big deal, especially if you're like me and you really don't like to iron, or if you're like me and you travel a lot, it's great to have a few Norma Kamali pieces on hand. She has this modern, sporty vibe to all of her pieces too, which is really cool. Like the racing stripe jacket that I wore recently in our trip to Peru, and then there was the racing stripe dress that I wore during my blogger conference. It's just really cool pieces. Very effortless too, they look like. You're not trying so hard. Number seven is the mousy vintage jeans and the style is called the Kelly. So this is a Japanese denim line. It is very expensive for a pair of jeans, but I can honestly tell you, I probably wear these once a week. You start doing the math on that and it becomes a very smart investment. I wear jeans all the time. It's like my wardrobe. So for me, I don't mind paying up for jeans that I really, really love. What's great about this line is that they all run a bit small in length. So if you are on the petite side, you know, I'm 5'4", maybe you're 5'3", 5 5'2", 5 5 5 5 feet, even 5'5". Five five. It's a wonderful length. It's still cropped even on me, and so it really shows off a shoe, and you don't have to worry or monkey around with tailoring. I love the distressing and just the overall look of the jeans. They're just really cool, and you can tell they're a really high quality denim. I know a lot of you don't like the distressing. They do have pairs of jeans that don't have any distressing holes, but they have just fading on the front or on the back. So you could go that route if you wanted to. But these are more of a traditional kind of stiff denim and that's something to think about. You may not like that stiff denim. I got used to it this year, so I really love these jeans a lot. If you're petite, you will too. Number six on my list are waif camis, and the waif camis that I bought actually are dupes for a cami NYC cami. The cami NYC cami running around 110, 120, the wave cami is running around 30. So it's a much better value. They're still a great quality. So I bought these, one in black, one in white, and I've worn them a ton. I wear them sometimes under a dress if I just want a little bit more coverage at the bust line. I wear them under blazers just to add some interest. I wore them in the summer with shorts and skirts and jeans. They do come down quite low. So a lot of you asked about the bra situation. I've done a bunch of different things with these. I've done stickies. I like the nippies. They're called nippies, N-I-P-P-I-E-S. I've done a bralette that also had a strap across the bust, so it just looked like kind of edgy and cool together. I've done a bandeau bra where it's just like the tube across the, the chest. Also, you could just try a really pretty regular black bra. If you have a little lace popping in through the lace up part, like big deal, like don't sweat that. Do you know what I mean? It's still super pretty and super cool. Just try out your regular pretty black bra and see how that works out for you. Coming in at number five are the Aqua cashmere sweaters. I'm actually doing a blog all about aqua cashmere sweaters coming up. So be sure that if you haven't already subscribed to my newsletter, you may want to subscribe to that so you don't miss out on any new content that hits the blog since it is very different often from the content on YouTube. Aqua cashmere sweater, that aqua is the in-house brand for Bloomingdale's. Their sweaters usually range from 150 to 180, but I swear they are always on sale. Like it's rare to click on them and they're full price. And when they're on sale, they're more like 60 to 80. So they're really marked down. They have cool designs, cool prints, cool details, unlike any other cashmere line that I've seen. And again, affordable for cashmere. So here, you know, I bought this one this year. I bought one with stars down the sleeves. I bought some solid ones. They have solid V-necks, solid crew necks. They have solid turtlenecks. What I love about the aqua cashmere sweaters, you can find these interesting modern details. They have color block ones. They have ones with racing stripes like stars, grommets, just interesting 
cashmere sweaters, but they also have those awesome basics too. Coming in at number four of my favorites for 2018 and your favorites, because this is definitely one of the top sellers, which is always surprising given that it's just such a simple item, is the Madewell Whisper Tea. So here is an example of the Madewell Whisper Tea in gray. I also have this in black and in white. The white ones do get quite yellowed, even when you take super duper good care of them if you're wearing them a lot, like I really did with these tees, especially in white, then I think you're gonna have to get a new one each season. They're reasonably priced, they're really soft, they wash and wear well, they fit well, they're not too tight in the arms, they're not too tight in the body, and you don't need a cami or anything underneath, they're not see-through if you wear a nude bra. They're just great t-shirts, and I know you guys have thought so too. I do size down on the Madewell tees, so I always order extra small. If you're normally a medium, I'd probably order a small. I really wish, Madewell, if you're listening, I'm talking to you, that you would come out with the long sleeve version, like why not, just this is perfect. The way it is, the, the cotton, the fabric, the fit, everything, just extend the sleeves. Cause I would buy them and I would buy the crew neck version too. <music> Number three, I really haven't talked about and also I haven't featured it on the blog. I just haven't gotten around to it. And that is the J brand Natasha jeans. There's two versions. There's the Natasha regular and the Natasha cropped. If you are five, four, I would, maybe I would say five, five or under, I would get the crop jeans for sure to fit like normal, regular skinny jeans. The fit on these is wonderful. They are super high rise. So the waistband actually comes up above my belly button, which is how I kind of like it. And it's got the button fly, which is gonna be a big denim trend for spring. And it's got the buttons on the hips, which I like. It creates a little, a little more curve but you're gonna love the fit and the feel of these jeans. I love them so much that I also bought them in black and I'm wearing the black pair actually right now. They're very soft and they're very comfortable. So it's that kind of jean where you do feel like, oh, I would love to travel in this. I'd feel really comfortable in an airplane sitting down in these, or I could hang out at home in these. They're that soft. And the great thing about the Natasha is they come in a bunch of colors and they even have a faux leather pair that looks really, good, like it looks like the real McCoy, it looks like real leather. Uh, they have black, they have gray, they have white. I'm thinking about getting the white pair for summer. I'm just like hoping they're gonna come out with the cropped version, because right now they only have the full length version. And then they have a really nice traditional blue as well. So I think if you really like them, you may, may be worthwhile to get a couple colors. Number two for 2018 is my Veronica Beard black scuba blazer. Here's another one and another example of fabric that really would travel and wear well. You don't have to worry about it wrinkling. It is literally like, it's called a scuba jacket because it feels like neoprene. It feels like scuba fabric. It does have some really cool modern zip pockets on the sides. But what makes these jackets so remarkable is the fact that you can button in and button out different dickies. So I have a bunch now. I have um, a leather dicky, a suede dicky, a puffer dicky, a hoodie dicky. I have two sweater dickies. I've collected them and I've told you guys before, if you do invest in this jacket and you wanna get some more dickies, look on veronicabeer.com because they always have sales. And then also check like Nordstrom Rack. They're really good for dicky sales. <laughs> and other like outlet stores like that, like Saks Off Fifth, Neiman Marcus Last Call. Those, those type of stores will have those dickies on sale from time to time. That has definitely been one of those items where I just reach for it again and again and again. It's a little trickier this time of year because you don't really want to wear a blazer and then put a coat over it all the time. You can with certain coats, but it's kind of tricky and hard. But I would say in the fall and the spring, even in the summer here especially, I can, I can pull out this jacket and I really love it. It's just such a great looking jacket, great fit, great feel on the skin, and incredibly versatile in the way that you can mix and interchange the Dickies. And the number one favorite purchase, favorite item for 2018 is... This is number one. 
looks kind of orange in the video. I don't know why this sometimes the video makes things look orange or more orange than they actually are. This definitely is one of my favorite purchases for the year. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the hardware. I love the thick strap. I love the color. I love the size. Just so happy with the purchase. I like that it feels modern, but it also feels classic. It's not crazy in your face. Just, it's just such a lovely bag. This bag, by the way, I swear it's on sale every other day on Rue La La. So if you have your eye on the bag and you're like, I cannot stomach the price or paying full price, check Rue La La first because they do literally have it on sale. I feel like every other day there, especially in the small size. So this is the medium size, the small size, it's just probably like shave off an inch on each side. Um, and it's a great size too. So those are my and your top 10 favorite products for 2018. It was fun for me to kind of look back and see what were my favorites for the year. What did I wear the most, the most useful pieces for the year. And I didn't even talk about shoes, you guys. So let me know if you would like me to address shoes and boots. That does feel like its own thing. And there are plenty of shoes and boots that I love too. But do let me know if you have any questions about sizing or anything that I've talked about. You can just comment below. And I would love to know what your favorite clothing item was for 2018. Team. What was your heavy hitter? What did you wear the most? Is there anything that surprised you that you really loved that you wouldn't have thought you would love so much? I just love to hear about those kind of things and I think we can all again grow and share and learn from each other. Okay you guys, if you liked this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give a thumbs up to the video. Thank you again so so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!